Hello and welcome to this Dr. Ross Maths key skill video on finding the area of a triangle using two lengths and the included angle. Now early on in your maths education you would have learned how to find the area of a triangle by doing half times base times height. The problem here is that we don't know what the perpendicular height is. If we use this as the base for example we would have to know this perpendicular height and if we use this as the base we'd have to know that perpendicular height. And actually it would be quite easy to find that perpendicular height by trigonometry. If we used 11 as the base, we could use basic Sokotoa to work out this length. And that's how we could actually prove the formula I'm about to show you. But just for the sake of time, I'm not going to go through the proof, I'm just going to give you the formula. So the area of a triangle is equal to half AB sine capital C. And let's remember how we label sides. If your angle was C, here, then the opposite side would be little c here, and then the two other sides must be a and b. But the way I remember it, I don't bother labelling the sides each time, I just remember it's half times the product of your two sides you're involving, times the sine of the angle between them. This is known as the included angle, because it's the angle between the two sides of interest. So in this particular case, look, we've got two sides of interest and we've got the included angle, the angle between those two sides. So the area of this, therefore, using this formula, is half times your two sides times together, so 11 times 7, doesn't matter which way round, multiplied by the sine of the angle between them, the included angle. So if we just shove that on into our calculator, making sure your calculator is in degrees mode, that gives you an answer of 24.7 and what's the unit? It's going to be centimetres squared because it's an area and that was to one decimal place. That's the final answer.